I just found this ticket that my parents got me for my birthday last year. Okay, so you might be wondering what's so special about this ticket. Any normal plane ticket takes you to one specific location and only that location. But this ticket right here can take you anywhere in the world. China, South Africa, Sweden, Indonesia, Brazil, even Antarctica or North Korea. Okay, maybe not, maybe North, not Korea. North Korea. <laughs> so I can use this to literally go anywhere in the world. But if you guys don't already know, I am extremely indecisive. So I thought it would be better if I don't know where I'm going and someone else chooses where this ticket takes me. And that person is gonna be my friend, Nick Kaufman. Okay, so I'm gonna call Nick right now and I'm gonna tell him my plan. Okay, so I'm filming a YouTube video and you remember the ticket that my parents gave me for my birthday last year? where they said it's like a ticket to anywhere in the world i was there yes <laughs> oh yeah you were there <laughs> so yeah. i want it to be a surprise i thought you know i'd get the expert himself on traveling to choose where i go for sure look i'm actually in tokyo on the way to the airport but it has to be a surprise i'll find out when i go to the airport All right. text them and i'm excited i'm excited okay hey, have a good call, flight call me from the airport okay i will i will okay bye so I just got back from London and I need to pack. I don't know where I'm supposed to pack for. I don't know if I'm supposed to pack for a cold place, a hot place or what. I don't think we're going to a really cold place because it's not super wintry months yet. I think at most I should just pack like a sweater and some long pants and shorts just in case. And then we can figure it out from there. I have a bunch of t-shirts here that I'm gonna pack. I only have like two pairs of shorts that I actually like. I prefer wearing pants over shorts. These green pants, some chinos, cause it's good to have a variety of pants, guys. Jeans. Then I'm gonna pack one jacket, just in case. If I'm packing one jacket, it's gonna be a cool jacket. So this one has like flames on it, so. Finally, for sweaters. Oh, I, I got way too many sweaters. <sighs> I need to wake up in like two hours and I still haven't packed. I'm gonna go pack everything. You guys get the gist of what I'm packing. Okay, so I am finished getting ready. I'm going to the airport. <gasps> in the car and we're arriving at the airport. This is my dad who is driving me. Say hello, puppy. Hello. <laughs> I'm not really that tired, even though I didn't sleep much. I only slept 30 minutes, but... 30 minutes? I know that I'm flying with Qatar Airlines, so... We're trying to find where the Qatar Airlines area is. I think it's at the end. I don't... You just drove over. You can't do that. Puppy. There we go. It's a little fun. Okay, so I'm walking to the Qatar Airlines check-in area, and I'm gonna find out where I'm going. Finally, there is... I looked at the, the times of the flights and figured out which one mine would be, maybe, so I have a guess, and I'm gonna see if I'm right. See? Okay, so I have the tickets, and I'm gonna wait till I get through security to tell you guys where I'm going, but I'm super excited. I have to turn off filming because I needed to fill out some forms. So I'm in the lounge now. I have my tickets. It's two tickets. Okay, so I was right at first. I saw on, like, the flights list, and I, like, figured it out because, you know what, I'm... I'm nosy. I thought like, oh, I'm going to go to Doha, right? Which is in Qatar. So that's this ticket. But then they gave me a second ticket, which was when I had to turn off my phone from filming because I had to fill out some forms. But it goes from Doha to Singapore. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. That means Nick is also going to Singapore and that means I'm going to see him there. I wish I could freak out more and like kind of scream a little. <laughs> I'm going to go get some food because I'm kind of starving. So I got some water and some eggs and stuff because it's breakfast and I need some energy because I'm running on 30 minutes of sleep. It is like 13 or 16 hours of traveling that I have ahead of me. And then after I finished eating, it was finally time to board the plane. So here's me boarding the plane and here's my seat. I was in business class, which was what? It was so nice. It was so big, but there was like this little package that they left for me. I don't know, like a little present and they gave me 
shampoo, which I don't know what I was going to use the shampoo for on a flight, but anyways, I then fell asleep after drinking my orange juice, and they woke me up because they brought me food, and there was a door at my seat. Also, the food they brought me, like a burger, I was eating a full-on cooked burger on a plane. Also, you can see how tired I was by the way I was moving. <laughs> the burger was so good. It was like this pulled pork. Look, I'm I'm literally in heaven right now. Look, look at the, look at the way I'm eating that fry. Oh my god. But anyways, then I finished eating and um, oh okay, but what? You can see I was very tired. But anyways, I went to the bathroom and I realized there was a window next to the toilet seat, which meant I could look out the window while peeing. And so here's me doing that. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I went back to my seat and realized that we were landing. Um, I didn't know the time had gone by so quickly. So we landed and I got off the plane. Thank you, bye. Thank you. I got off the plane and went to try and find the lounge. It was really loud, so that's why I'm doing a little bit of a voiceover. But I saw this giant teddy bear. I wanted to go up to it and like just go on it and climb it so bad, but obviously I could not do that because I didn't want to get kicked out. Anyways, I found the lounge and I got there and there was a whole ass lake. I don't know what the- a pond? Obviously, I went and touched the water because I am a child. But I saw these stairs and I didn't know what was up there, so I decided to go explore. I realized up there is the restaurant. And the food looks really good, so I'm gonna be going there. First, I really want to shower because I'm sweaty and gross. So. <laughs> I couldn't find a shower before because they were all really full. And I was like, I needed something to eat because I was dying, so I went to get some food. And now I'm waiting for the showers because there's apparently a lot of people who want to shower too. I'm waiting for my turn. So I'm gonna shower now. Anytime I travel anywhere, I always bring skincare with me and my makeup so I can redo it either on the plane or like, I don't know, anywhere. Especially if it's a long flight just because I do not like feeling gross. <laughs> Sunscreen is necessary. My flight is boarding and like, 30 minutes and I need to finish getting ready, so <laughs> here's my whole sanitary pack. I also packed a change of underwear and a change of shirts. So I just left and I think I'm late. My morning starts in 10 minutes. Oh, my hair. I feel refreshed and rejuvenated. So then I finally got onto my plane and I got to my seat where I found that they gave me clothes this time. So I was definitely going to change into those later. And I got some tea. And I started editing my last YouTube video. So if you want to go see it, it is up right now. They also gave me a phone for some reason to control things. I don't know, it was kind of cool. But I started watching Jurassic World and ate dinner and they gave me a candle and a fork to eat sushi. So I obviously accidentally destroyed the sushi. They brought out metze, which was like hummus and other metze stuff. I don't really remember. <laughs> then they brought out another full ass meal, which I don't like, is there a kitchen on the plane? I don't understand how they're doing this, but it was really, really good. And then I had dessert. Then after I thought I would do an unboxing of the little clothes, which they gave me slippers, some pants, but I wasn't going to put on the pants because it would have been way too much work. So I just put on the shirt that they gave me so I wouldn't, I don't know, stink up the shirt I would be landing with. And then I got ready for bed. I tried to move the bed, but I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was kind of hard to use and I accidentally hurt myself. I took off my shoes and opened the blanket. I got all snuggled and ready to sleep. And then I woke up. You can see I was sleeping for the whole entire flight and the flight was already about to land so i got changed went to the bathroom washed my face and then i thought i would do a transition so there's me all ready to get off the plane i tried to edit some more but the plane started landing so <laughs> so just landed i look i look good but yes now i'm gonna go get my bag and then get a taxi so i'm trying to find where i can get a taxi and i'm just walking through the airport and Okay, there goes the taxi driver. Um, I am outside Nick's building, I think, but I need to call him. 
really hot here. It's way hotter than I thought it was gonna be. It's so humid also. And I brought only pants. It's not answering me and I don't know which floor or anything he's in. Okay, so I went to the entrance and asked the guy. So he told me, so I'm walking there now. Nick, I am so mad at you. You're making me sweat in this heat. He's asleep, I know it. All my effort, all my effort of getting ready in the in the plane is getting destroyed now. Okay, so we have Thibaut. I found the place. I was in the wrong building either way. But Nick is still asleep, so let's wake him up for making me wait in the heat. Good morning. We were fucking asleep the whole time and I was waiting outside in the heat. Thibaut's fault. What? Okay, we're going on this thing that Nick said we're doing. I don't know what it is exactly, but we're racing. It's the luge. We're racing down the mountain. Oh. Huh? Wait, that's gonna be us. That's he's literally the coolest guy I've ever seen. This is what we are going down. Aww. <laughs> Ready, Benji? <laughs> 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 oh, what is <laughs> Doing this eye fly thing right now, it's basically. Skydiving, but not skydiving. We're ready. We're ready to go. <laughs> nice. This will be us very soon. Maybe, maybe a little better. <laughs> okay, we're going into the Horror Nights right now. Look, they're even themed everything. The universal thing is purple now. Before it was like normal. But that's what I'll do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, not. <laughs> Whoa, the f we're doing the transformer ride. My spooky transformer ride. Spooky transformer ride. It's like those robotic dildos this time. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you have to you get a free beer. We're getting fucked up because then we get more scared. We're getting shit faced. <laughs> Cheers. On YouTube, it doesn't matter. We got these drinks, I don't know what, <laughs> and we have to put these eyeballs in it. We got Korean We got Korean hort Fuck Korean corn dog Girl So good We are sweaty Tired And dehydrated I need vodka <laughs> I need sleep I need monster Okay so Nick wants to teach me how to wakeboard Tibo Have you wakeboarded before? I have tried it once, but in a park, not in a boat, so... Nick's about to go next. <laughs> this is the wakeboard. <laughs> I 
Any last words? Um, <laughs> I, I hope I don't die. Benji! <laughs> I'm in charge of Benji's recordings today. How did you read the experience? It was so fun. A lot of salt water in my mouth. <laughs> Very salty. A lot of face plants. We're at the Sky rooftop bar in what's, what's the building called? It's Marina Bay Sands. Nick is not here, it's just us two. Tell them the truth that Nick is Because he didn't wear the right clothing even though his mom right here told him to. This is why you gotta listen to your parents, guys. This is what the view looks like. It's, it's so beautiful, it's so cool. Okay, so we are in a restaurant which Nick showed us, which it's so much crazier than I thought it was going to be. It's the ocean restaurant. And if you can't guess by the name, we're in the ocean. Kind of, not really. But <laughs> Um, we've been, been noticing some changes in Nick Kaufman's behavior. <laughs> I gotta say, they taste pretty good, the botanical garden plants. Bees like eat you. I would fit in one. <laughs> Don't touch them. Sorry. Look at these ones are dead. Even mine would even fit in that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't touch uh, the veggies! Sorry. Whoa, this is crazy. Whoa! We ate like right up there. We're in like metal trees. Nick is doing a photo shoot. <laughs> I'll try to remember to film more next time, but I'm glad I got to bring you guys with me on this trip for the most part. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye.